right out. It's all right, big guy. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Put him right into the pond. That's not no little fish, you guys. That's a big fish. All right, we gotta do this quick because he's gonna hurt himself. Here. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video today here on the ranch. Today we're gonna to be working inside of the fish gallery. If you guys are new here to the channel and you guys didn't know, we keep a lot of monster big fish here on the ranch inside of my building. And today we have to move all the fish one more time. The reason why is because we gotta move them to the side because we're gonna start prepping a area of the barn for a very big, amazing project coming soon because the fish are getting big, the pool ponds suck. Personally, I do not like them. If you have them to grow up your fish, perfect and amazing, but to have adult fish in there is not the best. The reason why we're moving it right now is because there is a massive hole in the bottom. We'll show that later. But what the goal is now is we already filled up the new pond with about 15, 20% of my well water that I always do water changes with. And now we're gonna use all the original water and throw it all inside of there. So it'll be all the correct water that they've been used to all day long. So let's start moving and we're actually gonna be introducing the platinum red tail and the tiger shrubber nose with the air pima and everybody else so let's enter inside the building and let's get this party started but just warn you guys it's a mess in there we've been doing a lot of stuff and uh we got to move everything around it's muddy floors because we've been walking in and out and all those things so yeah don't mind the mess but make sure you guys subscribe to this channel like this video because we have some monster fish we have to move you guys saw the last one we did with joey and zach catchmall air pima was about this big it's twice the size of that now. He's a real big monster, and we're gonna use a pillowcase to get this guy over. So, hopefully, everybody does good, safe and sound. All the fish survive. And let's make it happen. All right, so we have a stump pump coming out from the original pond over there, and it's all coming inside of this pond. We have the net over the top. We put an old Aquascape rubber liner in here just to help protect it a little better. So it's gonna have a double coat or a double layer of this new pond. This is actually bigger than that pond. That's only a 1,200 gallon pond. This is just close to 2,000 gallons. Obviously, we're not gonna lift it to the top. So it's probably gonna be just about, I'd say 1,600 gallons or so. Because we don't wanna keep it all the way to the top so the fish don't have a really good chance of jumping out even though we have the netting. This netting is strong, but the fish are big. So we're letting all this water come out. A lot of awesome going through and we're gonna start moving. Moving the catfish first, then we're gonna move the big guys. So I'm gonna enter inside this pond right now. Daughter's helping me and my dad is gonna help me, help me corral these fish a little bit, see how this goes. Water is, all right. Nobody has ate for a couple of days, so we're ready to go with that. Fish are gonna start freaking. All right. Don't scoop yet, don't scoop. I'm gonna try to get him in here. All right. That is a real nice big platinum right there. Drop him in there. Go ahead, you guys. Ooh, that guy's really gonna pop out now. Big, heavy, quick. He's a nice guy. All right, and we're gonna get the tiger shrubber nose and put him in there. Look at that um, iridescent chart, too. We haven't been here for a little while, but let me grab this guy first. This one up here. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Go back around again. Yeah. There you go. All right, nice size fish right there. No worries. Get out of the net. Perfect. All right. Two in, my bad. Platinum, we're really gonna be able to see real well now because how white he is. Tiger Shrubble is not too much, and the air pump is definitely gonna be hard. What happened? All right, so let's stop that water. Or actually, we're ready to go. Just let it keep on going. Let's bring that water down lower. Yeah, we're gonna cut all the sides off. We're doing the air pump at last. Air one is first. No, we gotta get the water all the way down. He'll jump. And I kind of, we gotta show the viewers how big he got, huh? Gotta get the bed sheets. You got any old bed sheets? We gotta find some. We gotta find some old bed sheets. We'll be back. Check how big the air pima is right now. I mean, he is a true freaking beast and a half. I mean, a monster, monster fish growing every single day. So we're gonna walk inside of here real quick. We're gonna take out all the easier fish and then go to the bigger fish. This is the hole that I was telling you about. 
Check this out. Look at this. That right there is literally the floor. That is an inch by inch hole that's on the bottom of this pond, which is pretty freaking crazy. And water has been leaking left and right, left and right. And I guess it could have been from one of the plecos. So we're not going to keep the pleco in there anymore. We're probably going to put them in one of my other ponds. But I don't know. So, so you ready? All right, so bring up peacock towards me. Go slow. Keep going, keep going. Perfect. All right, here you go. That is in Azul right there. Take that guy in there. That's a nice fish. Well, my fish is looking real well. That, right? That's thick. And that wasn't even the big one. The big one is over there. All right, Arowana jumps. So don't go too, too fast. Keep your net over the top. The hole down there. Go ahead. They are going to pop out of that net. Pop now. What up? Jump out? Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. They are going to pop inside of here. is getting big. Here, uh, see if you can get that albino here one of There's some Got it. Heck yeah. It's all right, big guy. Woo! All right, most of the fish are in. That air prima is gonna be fun. It's gonna be real fun. If you guys are enjoying this, I'm not really enjoying it because I feel bad for the fish. It's stressful on the fish, but we're getting them out. That noise, let's, uh, yeah, we'll put them, no, no, actually, putting them inside that tank over there. Separate them up, probably. Final arowana, going right in. Right out, it's all right, big guy. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish, put them right into the pond. That's good. All four of Bano arowana's in, catfish are in, they're all swimming on the top of the room, but we have oxygen already inside of the pond, so we'll bring the other pond. Right after. What are you doing? Hey, be nice to the big guy. Be nice to the big guy. He's getting nervous over here. Yeah, we have a real, come on. The water's getting low. That's good, we want the water lower. Alright, go to that corner, we got the peacock bass. So, this azul is the meanest of all the mean peacock bass, tell you that. Get it, number one, five. Get it, Get it, Try to get close to Alright, let's work together, let's work together. Push it. All right, one second. All right, we're going to take a nice little thumbnail picture for you guys on that big old zoo right there. He's a gorgeous male. Take a minute real quick, hold that, let's go over there, and let's take a picture of it. Actually, stay right here. Oh my god, look at the size of that fish. Look at that, you guys. Look how big that Azul Peacock Bass has gotten. Now that is a gorgeous fish right there. That is dope. Look at that. Beautiful, fat belly. Alright, let's take them inside of that pond. Go ahead. Yep. Woo! 
It's all right, big guy. All right, bring him around. Keep going. Again. Look at the blues and the dot and everything on him. All right, check this out real quick, you guys. Look at the belly on it. Gorgeous Azul Peacock Bass. Go, go, buddy. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, be nice with big guy. Big birth over there. All right. So, my, I need you to watch this net. So, we got to walk him in. So, just like that. Just stay over here. Make sure no fish jump out because they are over everything right now. And then, um, you can't use the net for this. We're going to have to use the towel and the bed sheet. The net is not going to work at all. So, I'm thinking bed sheet over the head, like a big crocodile, and then towel for the back. We might get a little wet for this one. But this is the only way. Let more water come out. Right before this video, you guys, we actually were picking up a bunch of chicken food bags. And those guys are around 40 to 50 pounds. So we're going to see how heavy this guy is. What do you guys think down in the comments how much this Eric Pima might weigh right now? I really don't know how much he weighs. Am I getting there? You're going to hug him? You want me to? <laughs> Daddy says he wants to get in there. You take that out. We're going to rinse that out. Bro, um, I'm not going to put him in there. All right, what do you think? Put him in there. We don't step on the vinyl we'll put in there? This guy? I mean, what do you say? They're gonna open a hole again. They might, right? Why don't you put him in the aquaponics? No, that one's a nice one. I think it's just in the in the in there with the other guys. Where are you like going? Put the uh, put the bed sheet over the head. 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 Put the bed See that? Look at those teeth he has. I think he's the one that chewed hey, up. Let me see. Oh, you didn't see? Sorry, you guys. See that? No, you put your finger there. These guys come out from Colombia. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Look at, look at the fins on him. Let's go put him inside. Those are the blades on him. Let's go put him inside the aquascape ecosystem. Let more water come out. Look at the eyes. Check that out. Huh? <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Blue, blue, blue eyes. Gorgeous, gorgeous guy. Here you go, big guy. Get in there. You stay down there, okay? Cool. We'll eat some rocks, all the allergies, all that stuff. Do his thing. Big Bertha's next. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared. All right. Here we go. Oh, my God. All right, we need to get the bed sheet. He doesn't bite. He's just going to hurt you with his head. All right, let's calm him down. I don't think we're going to get a picture of him, unfortunately. All right. That's a big fish. That's not no little fish, you guys. That's a big fish. All right, we got to do this quick because he's going to hurt himself. Here. So let's try to get him real quick. Why don't you take the pumps out first? Okay. We'll just pump up. We got a bear hug him. Yeah, good idea. Take some stuff out. Okay. Do it. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa! There you go, there you go. All right. Okay, do it now. Oh, yeah, right now. I'm wrapping them. I got it. Get them out of the water. All right, he's gonna jump soon. You're gonna freak out on that. Woo! That is a big fish, you guys. Get the net, start covering it up. Cover the net, cover the net, cover the net. Woo! That's a big fish. That is a big fish. That's why those are not the fish for everybody. They are river monsters for a reason. That's why a big building. Yeah. Woo! All right. We got them. We got big perfect. A little wet, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take a nice bath right there. Make it a little tighter. You guys can't really see anything. Oh my god, Big Bertha's up. All right. Since when did you name her that? We got a one container of crystals right here, salt. I like using, oh, you saw the albino air want to come up for air? 
Yeah, so this right here, I just really like it. People are like, oh, it's not good, it's not. I've been using it my whole life for a fish hobbyist. This is what I like to use. And it promotes fish health. It's like electric light, so it's like Gatorade for fish and it helps for the gills and all that stuff. So this is only a little bit, you should put a lot more actually, but this is enough just to give them a little bit of a start. So put it all in there. Actually only does 500 gallons, and like I said, this is almost 1,000 gallons. Uh, the only thing I want to see right now is the air primer come up for air. It should soon come up for a nice gas, and there's different levels. This is actually about a foot higher than they're ever used to being in water before. So it's a new way of looking, or swimming, at least. And they got two new friends. How are we looking? They were good right there, right? The water level? They all look good, yeah. I already just finished it that. Oh, you did? All right, well, let's take it out, because it might go back in. My siphon itself. <laughs> It'll go all back over. <laughs> Alright, so we moved all of the filters from that side over here. It is very high up now because of this pond, but that's really the only way we were able to do it. We're about to turn the filters on so even more oxygen would go. We have aerators in our hair with a big pump, so there's a lot of bubbles and the fish are good. Some have came up for air already, but everyone is doing good and acting normal, which is what we needed to do. We're gonna organize and set this whole thing up and clean it all up today for you guys. So you're gonna see the whole clean up and then in the next come up coming videos everything over there is getting moved to this side we're not going to make the giant enormous pond right now everybody knows that that was the goal but the fish are still not big enough yet and how this world is with materials there's no point of getting this done right now so we're just going to get a smaller version of it done in the future you guys are going to see all the stuff that's coming i'm not going to go deep into detail because it's a while from now but it has to get done soon because big bertha the air wanted, everybody is getting really, really big. And we're gonna move a couple of the fish over here on this side into this pond. So uh, let's get the pump running, let's make it happen. We need you to get the net, I'm gonna hand you a net and you're gonna go over there and scare the fish to me and I'm gonna, oh my God, did you guys see this little dude? Little baby air primer, he's a little popper. Actually, we got the new net right here. Let me just, I think we'll be able to reach him. So let's just get in here. Everybody's gonna freak out, but that is okay. We'll extend it, and then we'll try to get this little guy real quick. Well, not a little guy, but it's a big guy. $80 net, and it's not even hanging on right. All right, tell me if you got the Kenya. Ooh, almost got him, almost got him, almost got him. Got him. Look how big this guy has gotten. Big old bar. Let's bring him over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And he's out. All right. We, we, to, we had to do it quick. He was, <laughs> at least he didn't fall. That's good. All right, where is he at? Go check him out. He's over there. Hey. All the way down there. So everybody that's in here will not hurt him. They're all uh, pellet eaters. So everybody will be safe and good with no worries. Um, so he'll be all right. It's a lot, lot bigger pond for him. We'll be able to grow even bigger, which is what we wanted. And we are going to try to move the Niger catfish as well that is inside of this pond. And we're gonna take him out and uh, put him over there. So we'll do that in a second. But let's come back this way. And we gotta grab the last barb. So both the buddies are together. These are very, very interesting fish. Let's see if we get a better look of them. All right, buddy. all right. Check this out. Look at the mouth on that thing. Very, very weird looking fish. We got them when they're real small, but they're getting real big, and there you go. We got two of them inside of there. And everybody, like I said, there's no really predators here. There is one bass, but he'll be okay. He'll stay in there. And yeah, let's see if we can get this Niger catfish out of there. Let's do it. Wait, but how do I get it to not go that way? What do you think? Oh, cleaning. Look how blue the floors are finally. Beautiful. Maybe get a broom so we can just get it from that side. I don't know where the broom's at, but we gotta find a broom. We'll do that now. All right, you guys. So we are completely done inside of the fish gallery. We cleaned it all up. We got the old pool pond gone. It is all cleaned up. We took out some fish from out of here and we put them inside of my other pond. We took out the giraffe nose catfish. We took out the Niger catfish, we took out some big barbs as you guys saw in the videos. 
or earlier in the clip and, we, and put them all inside of here. They're all doing well. Everyone's swimming around. Giraffe nose is happy. The rib skull catfish is looking good. Everyone is doing good. And then with the big fish, everyone's doing really, really good. We saw that we lost one scale, the arapaima. Check this out. Now that is pretty freaking cool. Kind of crazy, but look at that. We lost one giant scale off the arapaima. It's kind of crazy to say that we first got him, he was so, so small. Look how big he got now. We all know he's a monster fish and they get really, really large. And he's showing that for sure. He has one scratch down his head, unfortunately. He might have hit it when he was in there, as you guys saw the jumping and scratching and all the craziness. But we were able to get him safe and sound inside of here. You can't really see the fish in here at all, but at the end of the day, it's for the safety of the fish. I want the fish to be healthy and I don't want any of the fish to die. So that's the reason why I put this rubber in here, just in case, because we did actually take out that Tiger Shrubber Nose Hybrid and the Platinum Red Tail and entered them inside all together. So now they all have new friends and family together, all raising up. And then hopefully soon, you guys will see what we'll we're talking about. And before, we won't be coming back in the fish gallery until we start feeding and make sure that everyone's feeding. And I will not start another video inside this fish gallery until we start breaking ground where we have to break ground inside of this gallery. We'll talk about that when it happens, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe to the channel because big things are coming in 2021 even though we're in like the middle of the year already but make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so that we can get this thing going appreciate you all and i'll see you all later Peace out, everyone.